I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This is a very, very special instrument that we just finished up. Um, I mean, really, really special. This is, this is one that we do not get um, in very often, something this good and something this, um, frankly, inexpensive for, for being so awesome. This is, I mean, this is like top-notch, world-class instrument, seriously. Uh, Petrov, if you haven't heard of it, look it up. This is this is up there with the very best pianos in the world. Um, they they have a hundred and what, 170 year history, something like that, and they are currently in the hands of the Petrov family, which uh, I think they're fifth or sixth generation, something like that. Susanna Petrova is let's see in the in Czech. It's a Czech in, made in Prague. Uh, I think that's how it works. The masculine is Petrov and the feminine is Petrova. So that's, that's the, she's the owner right now, Petrova. And um, I've been to the factory and met her. She is awesome. She's an amazing woman. And she makes, and she, she has very, very uncompromising standards. Everybody at the factory knows her and knows that, uh, that she, has, she has high standards and she's a great lady and she expects perfection. Um, if you're if you're unfamiliar with Prague, um, it, it's one of those cities like Paris where where it's just like everywhere you turn, it's just pure art and and beauty everywhere you turn, and that kind of uh, mentality really kind of trickles down into all of their manufactured goods. Pianos being absolutely no exception. I, I remember when when we visited my wife and I visited uh, Prague. That was very much the impression that I got everywhere, every shop that we went into, every restaurant, every hotel. They take these are people that take pride in in like, uh, well, I mean, in in their in their room service or in in everything hotel, everything restaurant, uh, all of the the handicrafts and and artisan shops and paintings and and their architecture, their buildings, their bridges, everything, and their pianos are exquisite as well. That's, that's the kind of tradition that this, that this piano comes out of. Um, this, this piano originally was, was manufactured in 1994. It was, it was in the Petrov family uh, hands at that point in the, in the 90s, um, and um, hence, hence the super high quality. And we've, we've totally redone it. Um, well, totally redone it. We've totally refurbished it. And then the exterior, we've totally re, re, uh, refinished the exterior. So, so the exterior is A+. Plus. The interior, I would say, is an A. And the only reason I don't give it an A+, plus is because we refurbished the original, which was hardly used at all. It, this, this piano, I actually know the, the, the person who owned this piano since, since the early 90s. Um, and... And it just kind of sat in their house, and they and they used it very little. So so we just kind of went through and cleaned things up, reshaped hammers, tightened everything up, lubricated everything, realigned everything, ensured that all of the regulation is correct. I mean, so it's still a it's still a fairly involved process getting this piano back up to back up to um, perfection, and and it is. Um, this is currently my my crown jewel. I would say it's it's my number one top piano. Here in, at the at the piano shop, I mean, there are others that are that are maybe maybe contenders, but I would I would give the edge to to this one. It's seven foot. Uh, it's a monsoon. It's seven foot nine, something in that uh, in that vicinity. So it's a very very big piano. This is a, this is it puts out a lot of power, a lot of tone, a lot of richness. I'll play it for you in just a second. But first, let's let's kind of get a get a load of. This refinishing, this this refinishing is absolutely gorgeous. This black satin finish. This is a piano for sure that could be in a conservatory and like in a on a stage. And in fact, no surprise. When we were in Prague, we went to a few. Uh, concert venues and they all have Petrovs. And that's that's actually kind of the the go-to instrument for uh, for that area of the world, for Central Europe. Um, and 
Eastern Europe. And, and I've, I've actually sold quite a few Petrovs here. People, people that are in the know, people that are, that kind of um, have a, I guess you'd say like a finger on the pulse of, of the piano world, they recognize Petrov as, um, as absolutely world-class. So, so here in the West, we're very familiar with Steinway. Well, again, people in the know often prefer Petrov over, over Steinways that they've played, and for good reason. There, and there are other pianos up there kind of in this um, pantheon, I would say, like, like the Italian version would be, would be Fazioli. Those are pretty awesome. The Germans have a few, a few pianos that are in this, um, in this category of piano, like uh, Sauter would be one, uh, maybe Beckstein might be one. Um, there's a there's a Steinway um, built in Hamburg that that is super high end, and they actually consistently get better marks than than Steinway New York. Grotrian is another. Anyway, you get the idea. That's that's the kind of that's the kind of piano we're talking about here. Okay, so so cosmetically, piano is an A plus. Piano is uh, we have it voiced right now in kind of a. Oh, did you did you get a get a shot of like the pedals and the, those big beautiful casters? We have a voice right now, fairly um, uh, fairly middle of the road, but maybe slightly on the on the brighter on the brighter side of the spectrum. Awesome piano. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna double down on that. This is this is not only the best piano that we have in the store right now. This is one of the best ones that I think I've had in the history of um, 25 years of working on pianos. Uh, so yeah, and, and by by the way, this piano brand new uh, is listed at two hundred thousand, two hundred and eighteen thousand dollars, and we have it here in, in virtually perfect condition at a tiny fraction of that price. Um, one, one last thing that I'll share with you. Follow me up here. When my wife and I were in Prague, we went, like I said, we, we did a tour of the Petrov factory and 
we went to the design room <coughs> where they do where they go. Oh, there's Susanna. Can you get a uh, zoom in really on Susanna? Can't really see it. Well, she's the blonde. <laughs> That's Susanna Petrova, the owner. Um, anyway, so we were in the design room, and <clears throat> there were all of these, all of these rolled up designs, um, kind of up in cabinets and on on shelves, and you know, just kind of all over the place. You guys can come um, through. <laughs> and I was I was looking at them, and and I was I was kind of admiring them, like uh, like they were art. And and I said, hey, can I can I have one of these? And he's like, why would you want one of these? These are just old designs. And I was like, are you kidding me? Look at that! It's art. It's like piano art. And he's like, um, okay, well, let me let me look through, let me look through and see what see what I can send you. And so, and he's he's this designer, this like wild hair kind of professor, like nutty professor looking. Uh, piano designer and so um so I, I i kind of felt like ah well that kind of struck out i guess he didn't i guess he didn't want to part with with one of these but then after we got home from prague like two weeks later in the mail we got this this um well that we got two of them that, that, that one over there is an upright this one's a grand of course and it's of course it's an original it's got like coffee stains on it and it's got uh, it's taped up on one side and all wrinkled and torn up there at the at the edge. Anyway, so, sorry, I should tell you what we're looking at. This is the plate. This is the design of the the cast iron plate. That's what that's what holds all the tension, and that's why pianos are so heavy because that's made of cast iron. And and it looks like this uh, this was the date on it. Looks like 1990, so about the same era as that as that Petrov. Anyway. So kind of a cool memento from... And the signature. Oh, the, yeah, of course. And that's the guy's signature who we uh, who we talked to, who was like, what? Why would you want this? This is... <laughs> what's special about this? And he, and also, what, what he does with that is he, he also had on the wall, he had a bunch of wooden plates. Um, so they weren't actual plates. They were... So I think they go from... They design it, of course, mathematically first, and then and then they plot it out and then design it on paper, on that graph paper like that. And then they make a wooden model uh, based, on, based on the designs. And then they use the wooden model to, in, in some procedure, I don't know if that's what they use to like press down into the sand where they pour in the cast iron. I'm, I'm not sure exactly how they use the wood, but they, anyway, that's basically what I understand of the, the production process. So anyway, Petrov, Awesome piano, super high end, and if you're if you are a high end, um, well, this this piano could could literally satisfy the very best piano piano players in the world. There's no question in my mind. I know that probably sounds like hyperbole, but nope, that is, I will stand behind that statement. Come come check it out. The address here is 1497 South State Street in Orem. Or you can schedule an appointment online with me on the uh, on the website brighamlarsonpianos.com. I think you'll be very impressed with that Petrov. Thanks for watching.